Hello everyone, and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up carry from Emmerdale, seems to have the satin touch, which causes everything to go wrong just by standing close to something. She was suspected of stealing while on board the ship, which she most definitely did, thus her return to the town was met with awful circumstances. Ever since then, she has been a disaster waiting to happen. However, Amy, Natalie Ann Jamison, and Maddie fear that Carrie's unlucky talent would ruin their lovely wedding day. The pair has already encountered some difficulties. Transphobic Claudette destroyed their original plans by forbidding their ceremony from taking place in the village hall since Maddie is transgender. The consequence was unpleasant and made Maddie realize that he needed to be true to himself and that he didn't really want the wedding to be a magazine extravaganza where they got everything for free in exchange for him being the face of transgender weddings. They had a low-key wedding at the village hall, but Carrie was determined to be involved and volunteered to pay for a nice wedding even though Amy's request to marry Pollard had made her feel uncomfortable. The problem with this scheme is that, unsurprisingly, Carrie lacks the financial resources to back up her claims. Her only possession is the necklace, which she plans to sell to raise the necessary funds, but nobody is prepared to give her what she requires. Carrie tries to get a second opinion, but Susie, who demands her unpaid bill, forces her into hiding. Astute Susie finds Carrie and offers her one final chance to clear her throat, failing which she will have to cancel for the entire day. Carrie is hoping to get a higher price for the jewelry in time, but Susie and Layla, Roxy Shahidi, are already at home farm getting everything up. They are waiting on Carrie to show up with the money, but she hasn't shown up yet. As Maddie and Amy happily arrive for their rehearsal, they are unaware of the events occurring in the background, but Kim arrives to break up the calm by requesting payment. Carrie gets some very bad news. Pollard is surprised to hear that she cannot afford the wedding, and her necklace only fetches her a small portion of its true value. Carrie begins to fortify herself in anticipation of disclosing all to the bridal party. Maddie is devastated that their special day must be cancelled, and Carrie, in her customary dramatic fashion, waits until the actual day to inform them that she is unable to pay. However, at the last minute, Layla gets an enigmatic call. Carrie is left out in the cold as the wedding is rescheduled. Who put up the money? Laura Shaw, the producer, has hinted that the episode is one that she is most proud of. It encapsulates everything that Emmerdale does best, she remarked at a press conference. It's full of heart and warmth, but it also has drama and humor. In my opinion, it demonstrates to viewers, who might have experienced similar circumstances as Maddie did as a young trans person, that happily ever after is possible. Well, since this is Emmerdale, things might not be happy. Next week, Tom King from Emmerdale will savagely attack Vinnie Dingle, as his jealousy over his wife, Belle's relationships with other people intensifies, the villain sets his sights on Vinnie. The new Tom and Belle plot in Emmerdale has begun examining the various manifestations of domestic abuse. Tom appears committed to keeping Belle apart from her close friends and family. Next week, the story continues when Tom leaves the hamlet for a work trip at a veterinary clinic. Belle, who is still in the dark that Tom was the one who destroyed the house, is worried about being left alone in the property so soon after it was allegedly the target of burglars. Knowing that he can keep an eye on Belle's every step with his new puppy cam, Tom is less stressed about leaving. Tom maintains his nasty behavior after checking into the hotel for the work trip, prioritizing to follow Belle anywhere she goes on the app. When Vinny shows up at the house to meet Bill, Tom is furious. Tom takes his keys and heads back to the village, determined not to let them be alone. Tom is upset when he gets home because Belle has disappeared and he can't seem to locate her on the tracker app. Walking their dogs in the woods, Belle and Vinny are unaware of Tom's homecoming. When Belle says that her phone isn't functioning properly, Vinny offers to fix it. As Vinny proceeds to the scrapyard to work on fixing the damaged phone, Belle walks home. 
and the two part ways. Tom shows up at the scrapyard to look into things as well, but he becomes alarmed when Vinny enters the makeshift cabin without warning. Fearing that he might be discovered spying, Tom strikes Vinny over the head with a paperweight. After that, he leaves Vinny in the cabin and cleans his fingerprints off the area. Will Vinny survive, bleeding, and unconscious? The characters Liam Cavanagh, Johnny McPherson, and Chas Dingle, Lucy Parbiter, in Emmerdale have flirted in the past, and ITV spoilers for next week suggest that they are still in love despite being thrown together by bad luck. Aaron Dingle, Danny Miller, the son of Chas, had been lying to his doctor about the findings of his genetic test, which showed he carried the BRCA gene and is therefore susceptible to breast cancer. Chas questions Liam about it, sensing that something is wrong. Despite his intense efforts to hide the reality, she deduces the truth from his uncomfortable response. Liam quickly leaves, but Chas is determined to learn the truth about her son's situation. She chooses to ask him directly, and even though he denies it, she can tell by his look of guilt and body language. Aaron, who struggles to accept his diagnosis, loses control and becomes irrationally angry or delusional. He vents his resentment on the doctor, making it obvious to Liam that he has gone too far. When Chess confronts a clearly hurt Liam the following day, asking if Aaron is to blame, he is unable to pretend otherwise. But despite Aaron's aggressive behavior, Liam convinces Chas not to confront him right away. They share a sensitive moment as they talk about the situation, and it's obvious that they have a connection. Liam finds himself in an embarrassing predicament when Ella Forster, Paula Lane, witnesses their conversation. In the meantime, Chas tries a more considerate approach with her son after taking Liam's advice. She gradually begins to overcome his initial resistance, even though he is initially reluctant, and he eventually admits that the gene test result feels like a death sentence. In a recent photo, Baskar Patel, who portrayed Rishi Sharma on Emmerdale for 12 years, appears entirely different. After a graphic plot, the 68-year-old ITV performer was written off the serial opera last year. It is thought that Rishi fell and died after falling off his home steps. Rishi was discovered dead there. But since his brother Amit Sharma, Anil Gautam, was present when he passed away, there has been a great deal of conjecture about his identity. The actor made the decision to grow a lengthy, gray beard after leaving. He was seen posing for a picture with Dan Spencer co-star Liam Fox. Liam, 53, posted the adorable picture to his 7,000 Instagram fans. Grandpa Potts is the main character played by Liam in the stage adaptation of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. He acknowledged that Basker was looking after him while he was in town. When the performance opened, the performer was still in London for rehearsals. He wrote, First day of rehearsals for Chitty Chitty Bang Bang on tour tomorrow. Being looked after in London for the duration by my mucka Basker Petal. Excited to get started and catch up with Jenny Gaynor, the pigeon lady, he continued. Exciting times ahead, accompanied by a series of heart-shaped emojis. The reunion thrilled Emmerdale fans, who went into hysteria at this. Love the picture of you both and good luck for the tour and can't wait for you to return to Emmerdale as Dan. One fan wrote in the post comments section. Whoa, buddy! That picture of you and Basker Puffel is amazing and great. Nice, commented another person. A third wrote, break a leg, mate. And wished Liam luck with the show. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.